Hi guys, uh, it's Stefan here from SXT Wellness. Um, we're going to answer today's question about should I stretch before a game? All right, guys. So one of the most you know common questions we always ask is, should I stretch before a game? Okay, I'm going to play on Wednesday night. You know, should I stretch? Should I just jump in? What should I do? Okay. So the first thing we have to do is figure out why. What's the point of stretching? Uh, or why should we do it? And okay, the first thing we're going to do is is just look at three things. Okay. Before any game that I've played in the past 15, 10 years, I just look at three things: a warm up, the game, and a warm down. Okay, and so what, what that basically means is if I was to get into my car on, on a cold morning um, in winter and I was to start the car and then straight away drive off and try and speed, what's going to happen? Okay, what, what happens is what, when you have the engine, you've got the, the fuel, um, or the gas, you know, in America, and then you have the oil. Okay, the oil needs, takes, needs to take time to, to uh, heat up, and the engine, because it's metal, aluminium, um, uh, the heat expands or, or contracts. So if it's really cold, the engine's going to be nice and tight. Uh, as it gets hotter, it starts um, expanding and getting, um, it, making it easier for the pistons to move up and down. Okay, so the same way the car operates in the cold, is similar to our bodies in terms of our joints. Um, the, the muscle energy that we have stored, okay, what we want to do first of all is we want to warm up our muscles, okay, and so what we're gonna, the reason why we're doing that is we're taking oxygen from the air um, and we're taking it into our bloodstream and we're trying to get that into our working muscles, okay, so that what we want to do is we want to make our muscles ready to perform in the game, okay, and you might say, well, how does stretching have an impact on that, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is talk about two types of stretching, okay, dynamic stretching, okay, and static stretching, okay, and they're fairly self-explanatory, but basically our aim before a game is to warm up the muscles, let's get blood, which is nutrients, it's energy, it's carbohydrates, it's oxygen, let's get that to the working muscles, okay, so we can lift as strong as we can be, as strong as we can be, okay, so if you were to, in a car, you want to warm the car up so you can go as fast as you can so that the engine's working correctly, okay, similar principle. Okay, so what we do before a game, I've been doing it my whole life. People laugh at me, they look, well, why is the guy doing these stretches before a game? Everyone's just standing around. Well, these are the reasons why. I also want to prevent injuries as well. So dynamic stretching before a game warms you up, okay, and it helps uh, reduce the chances of injuries because the muscles um, uh, have got nice amounts of energy in them and nutrients in them. Um, and, and they're nice and warm. Okay, so if you think of a muscle as like elastic band, okay, you're trying to just get a bit of a stretch before the game, okay, just something like that. So let's just look at some examples of dynamic stretching here in the corner, all right? You can start to see some examples. What we're doing, let's just say we're playing tennis, okay, and we wanna, we're doing serves in tennis and we're using our arms to hit the ball, okay? So you can see some examples of getting the arms ready before a game, a warm up. Okay, so we're warming up the muscles to play to give us the best possible performance. Okay, as you can see there, we're going to play a game of footy. So what should we do with our legs? Okay, dynamic movements. Okay, the reason why it's called a dynamic stretch is because you're you're elongating and contracting the muscle. Okay, but you're not holding it. Okay, so you're doing it in a movement. Um, uh, manner. Okay, so if you take the hamstring as an example, if you look at that um, that example there. Uh, what you're doing is you're still stretching the hamstring, but what you're doing is you're elongating and contracting it um, in a movement manner that's not static, in okay? case so of the opposite of static, okay? That's why we call it dynamic stretching. So before every game, okay, whatever your game is, okay, if you're using your wrists as a table tennis guy, you want to warm up your wrists. If you're using your whole body in footy, you want to warm up your whole body, okay? And we're going to do that um, through dynamic stretching before a game, okay? That's what I'm going to do for every every type of movement. I usually play basketball and soccer, so I'm going to do an all-body movement. That's what I'm going to do, okay? We're going to play our game. Then what we should do is static stretching, okay? The reason why we should do static stretching is because it increases our recovery by getting waste products away from the working muscles, Okay, and taking that um, out of the out of the muscles that have been used. Okay, and the body's getting rid of that lactic acid. You would have heard the, these types of things, uh, and your body's going to dispose of those. Then what your body's going to do is any food that you have. You might have a, a protein shake after a workout. It's the muscle. Uh, the body's going to get that 
energy from your stomach and take it to the working muscles to help the recovery process. So the quicker you can get waste products away, the better, the more you can get nutrients in, it's gonna help you with your recovery. So static stretching helps that because it elongates the muscle, okay? Opens it up, opens all the, the, um, the vesicles and the veins, opens it up, allows um, the body to take waste materials away, okay? And, and then it also helps you to, to get those nutrients in. So that, that really is, is the key. Um, as you can see, some examples of static stretching uh, for your shoulder um, and, or for your hamstring as well. So you can see those in the videos there. And, and that's basically uh, the quick run through of should you stretch before a game or should you not? Um, my answer is we're gonna do a warm up, we're gonna play the game and we're gonna do a warm down. Warm up is dynamic stretching, movement stretching, get energy, get nutrients, get oxygen to the muscle so we can perform at our best, which is a warm up. Okay, after a game, we don't we don't need to warm up again because we're not gonna be running away from the Tigers, we're not gonna be running away from, from the, the guys trying to tackle us, okay? So the aim of a warm down, okay, is to get those waste products away, increase our recovery, we're gonna hold the stretches, static stretching, okay? So static stretching increases our flexibility, gets waste products away, and helps us recover quicker, relate, uh, reduce delayed onset, muscle soreness but hopefully that helps um, you know the question of should I stretch before a game um, hopefully I've answered you know some more questions as well um, if you have any more questions or anything you want to discuss or talk about please comment below uh, you know what to do like subscribe let me know what you think SXT wellness Stefan Ramsey I'll be out